Welcome to the Food and Wine channel. I'm Karen. Today we are at the beautiful Southern Sun Waterfront Hotel. With me I have the general manager, Jeff Rosenberg. Welcome. How are you doing today? Thank you. I'm doing very well. That's great. We are here to discuss what you do. Who are you in the image of the general manager of the Southern Sun Waterfront Hotel? Well, that uh, goes back one or two decades, I might say. One uh, or two decades? Yes, yeah, so I've been in the business for about 40 years now. Wow, uh, that's a lifetime. Yes, it is a lifetime, and I guess on certain days it feels like it's been a lifetime. I guess no one can pull the tricks on you anymore, you know them all. No, there's always new tricks, eh? So really? uh, you've got to uh, really just stay up with the game. But no, effectively, I, I got into the business, uh, uh, as I say, 40 years ago. Uh, it was really one where I got into just by fluke, almost. Really? Uh, yes, uh, I tried to... My, my father, in fact, was after school said to me, look, uh, what are you going to be doing with your life? Uh, eventually, uh, to get him off my back, <laughs> I basically said to him, well, I'm going to become a chef. Right. But little did I realize, or I should have known, the resourcefulness of my father, because the next day I had an interview at the Holiday Inn in Petersburg, which is now Polokwane. <laughs> uh, and then that was that, and uh, so the, the love affair was started, and uh, that was all those years ago. Wonderful. So that's where you started. And how did you end up in Cape Town? Uh, took quite a good scenic route, uh, worked uh, my way through the Holiday Inn uh, chain at the time, went for training uh, through them and then obviously uh, spent my time uh, getting to know the business at that early age through Holiday Inn. I was fortunate enough to go work in Germany for a year after wow. winning a working holiday through the, through the training at the Johannesburg Hotel School. Uh, those days it was the only hotel school uh, in, in, in South Africa and spent a wonderful year in Germany got back, uh, worked in Cape Town initially in, in the 1980s at uh, what was then the Holiday in Eastern Boulevard, okay. now it's Garden Court Nelson Mandela Boulevard. Uh, and after that went to uh, Swaziland where I spent 11 lovely years. Quite a scenic route. Really. Very scenic. And after that to, uh, to Sun City where, where I spent five really, really good years. The highlight of which was uh, being fortunate enough to work on the inauguration of uh, Madiba which was really a certain big highlight in, in my career. Obviously. And after Sun City got back into Southern Sun, uh, worked for uh, the Sabi River Sun in the Low Felt, near the Kruger Park, then on to Plettenberg Bay, where I worked at the Beacon Island Hotel, and uh, finally now to Southern Sun Waterfront, where I arrived six years ago. Wow, so with all of that said, with all your experiences, what do you bring, or what do you expect from the Southern Sun on the waterfront what do you expect from them what level what standard do you want to reach i think uh, with soho sun uh, which is our, our parent brand mother brand uh, we uh, really strive for for uh, attention to detail we look at uh, service excellence uh, with a very big open eye uh, and, and we place a lot of emphasis on, on the training of our staff so so really what we look for is to really create very good happy guest experiences yes uh, which I like to believe we, we do on a regular basis. Wonderful. Um, and with you saying the training, I'd just like to know what is the culture of the Southern Sun Waterfront Hotel with regards to training and with the Cape Legends Inter-Hotel Challenge? That's an interesting story. Uh, Soho Sun as a whole is uh, the, at the moment around about 18,000 employees and uh, we run various training programs, some of them on the job training, Others are taking uh, staff through very, very set and uh, standard skill set training, okay. and then also taking uh, management up through uh, training them into uh, uh, what we call our management uh, development programs. And it takes managers through all levels, from a junior manager level right through to a senior manager level. Okay. Uh, with the Intercape inter uh, uh, and the, the Hotel Challenge, um, I, w I was attending a function where I met up with Annette Kessler and we got chatting and uh, she said it's just a pity that uh, you know back in the day when uh, the legendary Billy Gallagher uh, was very much involved with Sun and Sun, uh, we had some wonderful uh, eateries and, and restaurants with great uh, experiences and she said it was a pity that uh, just of late uh, we seem to have outsourced most of our operations. 
And I said, well, not, not true, really. Uh, yes, we did go down that road, but we very much are getting back into the culinary uh, business where we are, as, as Soho Sun, uh, uh, operating our own kitchens and actually creating some wonderful experiences. And that's really how we got uh, talking about uh, the, the, the uh, Inter-Hotel Challenge. Yes. And we just felt that uh, being very integral uh, into the, the, the landscape of the Cape Town hotel industry, we wanted to get involved with this. Um, and we were delighted when uh, 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 NET ma made it happen. Yes. So effectively, we've got uh, the Cullinan and the Waterfront Hotel, which we are side by side, representing just short of a thousand rooms uh, between these two properties, uh, involved. Yes. So now, effectively, we uh, have called it a Soho Sun experience. Uh, in fact, the, the wine steward yes. that will be uh, the candidate is actually from the Cape Sun. The uh, chef candidate is from the Cullinan and the assistant chef candidate is from the waterfront. So it's really a, a family affair. How did you come about choosing your candidates? We would try to make it as fair as possible. So what we did was there was a cook-off uh, that was uh, conducted between the, the three hotels um, and it came down to a runner-up and, and a winner. And uh, effectively, uh, that's how we got it. So, Robert, the contest within the contest. The contest within the contest. So, we, we started with that process right from the word go. Okay, so as you said, you have chosen your family among, or you've chosen your candidates amongst your family. So, what do you have any words of wisdom or encouragement for your candidates? And what would you like your competitors to know? Well, I think it can be summed up in one phrase is that we're in it to win it. Uh, we don't like to uh, come second. Uh, this is our first year in the challenge. Uh, as you know, the, the challenge is open for the first time to uh, Gauteng and to the KZN. Uh, we'll be also have two of our properties in, in each area competing. So it's going to be a really good, healthy competition. And I think that uh, we, we really look to strive to, to, to do our best, but above all, to let this be a really great learning experience for the, the candidates in the competition. Right seeking out the best of the best. Absolutely. All the best to you and your crew, and thank you so much for your time. Thank you, and uh, I, I really uh, look forward to seeing you right through into the finals, where I hope to see Soho Sun being highlighted as the winner. I hope to have that final interview with you. Thank you so much. Thank you.